Hello! This time, we are going to study factoring by grouping in an easy way. First, we need to know the steps so that we can find the factors easily. Step number one. We need to group first the first two terms together and then the last two terms together. Step number two. Factor out a GCF from each separated binomial. And last step is factor out the common binomial. Example number one. 3x squared plus 6x plus 5x plus 10. Now, let's follow step number one. Group the first two terms together and then the last two terms together. So it will become... 3x squared plus 6x plus the second group 5x plus 10. Then, let's proceed to step number 2. Factor out the GCF from each separated binomial. So therefore, what is the GCF of 3x squared plus 6x? And that is 3 x and then divide each term of the binomial by the GCF so 3x squared divided by 3x that is x plus 6x divided by 3x and that is 2 plus Let's get again the GCF of our second group, 5x plus 10. And the GCF is, for 5 and 10, that is 5. To get the terms inside the parentheses, we must divide each term by the GCF. So 5x divided by 5, that is x plus 10 divided by 5, and that is 2. Now, let's observe the result in step 2. As you can see, there are two similar binomial, and that is x plus 2 and another x plus 2. Now, let's proceed to step number 3. Factor out the common binomial. And the common binomial is x plus 2. So our answer now will be by getting or factoring the common binomial x plus 2. This one will serve as our GCF now of the two terms here. Divide the two terms by x plus 2 and 3x times the quantity x plus 2 divided by x plus 2 our answer will become 3x same process on the second term so 5 times the quantity x plus 2 divided by the common binomial x plus 2 and our answer now is 5. And that is plus 5. And this is now our final answer. As you can see, it is already in factored form. Number 2 example. 3x squared 
plus 4x plus 12. Again, let's follow the step number one. Group the first two terms together and then the last two terms together. So let's do it now. So it will become x cubed plus 3x squared plus the second group 4x plus 12. After grouping that given terms, we will factor out now a GCF from each separated binomial. And what is the GCF of our first binomial? The coefficient in the first term is 1 and the second coefficient is 3. So therefore, our GCF for the coefficient is only 1 and no need to write it. For our variable, this is x cubed and the second term is x squared. To make it easier, we are going to use the, x, the variable with the lowest exponent or the lower exponent and that is x squared and then divide each term by the GCF x cubed divided by x squared so subtract the exponent 3 minus 2 and that is 1 no need to write for 1 on top plus 3x squared divided by x squared and our answer is 3. Next, let's get again the GCF of our second binomial. For 4x plus 12, what is the GCF now of 4 and 12? And that is 4. We don't need for the variable because the second term has no variable. It's a constant. So therefore, it's only 4. Now, let's divide each term here by the GCF. 4x squared divided by 4 and that is x copy plus and 12 divided by 4 that is 3. Step 3, factor out the common binomial. And our common binomial is in a green color. As you can see, they are similar. So that is now our common binomial factor. So let's write it this way. Our common binomial is x plus 3. If we're going to divide the first term, by x plus 3, we have now x squared. And then 4 times the quantity x plus 3 divided by the common binomial factor x plus 3, we have now an answer of 4. And this is now our answer. Example number 3. 5x squared plus xy minus 15x minus 3y. Let's follow again our step number 1. Group the first two terms together and then the last two terms together. So, it will become 5x squared plus xy for our first group. For the second group, we need to be careful. Copy minus and then 15x. This one should be positive 
because our operation outside is minus. If we're going to get the reverse or multiply this one, it will be the same with the given. How about for the second term of our second binomial? This is minus, and we have here a minus sign outside the binomial. So it should be now plus 3y. So that when we multiply this one, negative times positive, the result is negative. Then, follow again step number 2. Factor out the GCF from each separated binomial. Let's get now the GCF of our first binomial. The coefficient is 5, and the coefficient here is nothing. But it's not nothing, that there is an invisible one here. So, our numerical coefficient GCF is only 1. Let's proceed to variables. In the first term, we have x squared. In the second term, we have x. And as what I have said a while ago, we need to use the smaller exponent as our GCF. How about for y? There is no y on the, sec on the first term, but there is on the second term. So therefore, there is no common. So it's only x. And then, let's get now the terms inside the parentheses. So by dividing each term by the GCF. So 5x squared divided by x, 2 minus 1, we have an answer of 5x plus x y divided by x, so cancel x now, so it will become y. Minus, we will find again the GCF of our second binomial. And the GCF of our second binomial, if you're going to look at the coefficients, 15 and 3. What is the greatest number that can divide 15 and 3? And it's only 3. How about for the variable? The first term is x. The second term is y. So there's no common. So it's only 3. Then, let's divide each term by the GCF. So 15 divided by 3, that is 5. Happy x. Plus 3y divided by 3. Let's divide the second term by the GCF. So 3y divided by 3, and that is y. Look at the factors now. There is a common binomial factor, which is 5x plus y and 5x plus y. Let's follow now step number 3. Factor out the common binomial. So if we're going to factor out the common binomial, we will write it this way. 5x plus y times divide this by the common binomial and we have an answer of x. Copy minus. Divide this again by the common binomial 5x plus y and we have 3. And this is now our final answer. Let's proceed to example number 4. 3xy minus 21x minus 2y plus 14. First step. Group the first two binomials and the second two binomials. So it will become 3xy minus 21x minus, since this is minus, the term inside for 2y will become positive, so 2y, and since 
this is positive and a negative outside, the operation must be minus 14. So that when we multiply negative times positive, that is negative. And negative times negative, that is positive. Next is to get the GCF of each pair of the factors. So let's find the GCF of the two binomials. First binomial GCF, 3 and 21. What is the GCF of 3 and 21? So that is 3. How about for the variable? What is common variable in the two terms? And it's only x. No other than. So, let's get now the terms inside the binomial. 3x squared, so that is 3xy. 3xy divided by the GCF, 3x. We can cancel it, so the answer is y. And then... 21x divided by 3x, again, the GCF. 21 divided by 3, so that is 7x cancel. So we have now minus 7. Then, let's get now the GCF of our second binomial. So that is 2 and 14. That is 2. And let's get now the terms inside the parentheses. Let's divide again. 2y divided by the GCF, which is 2, and that is cancel. We have here y. Minus, copy, 14, right? 14 divided by the GCF, 2, that is equal to 7. So therefore, this is 7. After getting the GCF of each binomial, we will find now the common binomial. And the common binomial is y minus 7. So let's write it here. y minus 7 times. Let's divide now this term by our common binomial. So that is 3x times y minus 7 divided by y minus 7. So cancel, and we have here 3x. Copy minus, for this part, we have 2 times y minus 7 divided by the common binomial y minus 7. Cancel, and we have here 2. Therefore, this is now our final answer.